and what about the uh, footprints because we even have the footprints they they say that the footprints of abraham my friend what footprint a footprint of abraham is uh, abraham the uh, you see my, 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 my friend my friend you were my, reading that Makam my friend Ibrahim. there is so, there is there is like my parents okay. have gone there yeah. and see they saw the footprints of abraham right okay. right a footprint of abraham. Uh, first of all why abraham will leave a footprint why i mean only in one place he, he he only like jumped from the sky he came in that place and only in that place they have a footprint why there's no other places in the whole Kaaba? Or he, if, if the footprint of him was there, it's going to be all over the place. Unless you believe that he was a Congaro. So he jumped to, to Mecca and then the second jump was in, in Jerusalem. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 okay, yeah. Yeah, I understood. Uh, see, I'm not aware because I've been following the progressive Muslims. Some Muslims also don't believe uh, some things about Islam, about the circumambulation, kissing of the rock. I, do, I don't uh, uh, subscribe to that kissing of the black stone. Yeah, but Muslims do that. So, but uh, I think, uh, see, Abraham was uh, is accepted as a prophet in uh, Islam. And uh, we uh, Muslims do believe that uh, the Kaaba was built by Abraham. And they believe this on the basis of Quran. Because the Quran claims that the Kaaba was built by Abraham, so uh, he's a messenger of Allah. So that is why Muslims believe like. Yeah, but uh, but uh, uh, first, of, proof, first, of, oh, first of all, first of all, first of all, coming from history. All right, yeah. first of all, here you see the confusion of you as Muslim, isn't it? The Muslim you believe that Allah He yeah. sent down uh, uh, Adam and He came down in Sri Lanka, and then from Sri Lanka He came all the way to Mecca, and He did Hajj to the Kaaba, and the Kaaba was built by the angels. So uh, Abraham yeah. was building what? No, no, it was built. Kaaba. The Quran says that the Kaaba was built by Abraham, not by angels. That is a fabricated story in, in okay. the Hadith. So tradition. you, so you accept this story in the Quran, right? Uh, I see. I'm a little bit. Uh, okay, I'll, I'm going little with little you. Okay, as long as yeah, so Abraham, as long Abraham. My parents, and, uh, let me let me ask you, that, my friend. I'm sorry. Let me ask you. Is, do you Muslim believe that Muhammad is from the children of uh, Ishmael, which means from the children of Abraham? Ishmael. Yeah, he was from Ismail. All right. Yeah. So how he is from the children of Ishmael and the Quran says, and Ishmael is a prophet in Islam, right? He's a, he's a prophet, right? Yeah. Okay. How the Quran then in the verse in the front of us, chapter 34, verse number 44 says that Ishmael, uh, that Muhammad is the first warner to send to this city, Mecca. There's no warner before him. Which chapter is this? Chapter 34, oh. verse number 44. 34, 44. Uh, I don't know about the context of this verse. Hmm. That's why, yeah. You do not uh, need, my friend. We had given my friend, you do not need to know where the context. I mean, it's in front of you. Why, why we need to? I mean, it's very simple. This is a verse saying there is no warner came before you. As yeah, simple as that. Is this in address to? Like, uh, we don't know who are the addressees of this. No, you see, a second ago, you said the, the hadith is full of lies. Are you going to say the same now about the Quran? Is that a confirmed book for you or not? It says there is no, no warner. Yeah. Okay. Hadith Muslims also don't take it uh, seriously, okay. but Quran is something which all Muslims believe. All right. So this is. Okay. The, so let us yeah. take it seriously then. It says there is no warner, no messenger came before you to this to this uh, city Mecca. Is that true? That that city written where is that written? What we had not given them any scripture which it mm. could study, mm. nor send them any prophet. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So this must be addressed to some other uh, tribe or something. What other tribe, my friend? This is Muhammad. He came to who? To the Arab. What other tribe? Muhammad. He came to Ma in Mecca. He's born. Which translation is this? Uh, my friend, I don't Muhammad care for translation. translation. You can you can change it any one you want. For me, I speak it in I read it in Arabic. وَمَا أَتَيْنَاهُ مِنْ كِتَابٍ كُتُبٍ يَدْرُسُونَ يَدْرُسُونَهَا وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ قَبْلَ كَمِنْ نَذِيرٍ So we did not send them any books to study okay, before so you. Then if uh, Abraham did not come and you are saying that there were 26 Kaabas. So what were these Kaaba like? Because Muslims believe that it was built at the house of Allah by Ibrahim. Hmm. So if not, then uh, what? there won't be any Kaaba, right? If, if Abraham did not exist in that place. Uh, and uh, so what about if you are saying there were 26 Kaaba, what, where, where, where are other Kaabas then? Hmm. But this is, you know, this is not answer anything because simply if Muhammad was 
the only and the first one who came to the city as a warner and nobody before him and to the Arab and you Muslim even claim that he is a messenger for all mankind so the story about Abraham coming because do Abraham have a book according to Islam um, I don't know yeah Sufi Ibrahim there is one place according to Quran he okay. was having some kind of scriptures all right Sufi, yeah. so Abraham, when he had his scriptures, did he give his scriptures too? And uh, and Ishmael, he was a prophet too, so he should have his scriptures so, too. So all scriptures got corrupted, now Muslims say. No, no, no. If Ishmael was a prophet and Abraham was a prophet, that means both of them, they have his scriptures and both of them, they live in Mecca. So how Muhammad is the first warner to Mecca? If Ishmael is the grandfather of Muhammad and whatever children come from him, according to Muslims, is Muhammad is 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 a, is the children of Ur. so if their grandfather himself was the first messenger to them before him Abraham was so how Muhammad is the first warner and the first messenger? Um. Okay, uh, I <laughs> we did not. So Abraham did not build the Kaaba according to you, right? According to me, not Abraham. Not this is there is many Kaaba. This is this is a uh, this is a pagan practice. This is a place for it's a bazaar market like a mall in the old days. They place uh, religion idols to make money to make people come and buy and sell. But there is no idol there. Uh, if there were, what do you mean? What what do you mean? Money? Okay, let us talk about what what is idol. Give me a definition of idols. Idol means a statue or a stone or something. Okay, which is Did, thank you. You right. just you just say the stone. Did Muhammad kiss a black stone? And the Arab before Muhammad kissed the black stone. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so to so Muslim what is this black stone? You just said, and you, you you are the one who gave me definition that idol is a stone. Yeah. Okay. Muhammad kissing a black stone. stone. That is, is that the religion? Muslim, is that the religion of Abraham yeah. to kiss a stone? Now, see, I don't believe that Muhammad, because the Quran nowhere says that Muhammad kissed the stone. Muslims believe it is based on the fabricated hadith. You say, you say Muslims, you say Muslims, aren't you a Muslim too? Uh, I am, uh, like, I, I don't follow the orthodox Islam. Uh, so what, 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 like what, what are you? Have, like, what, what kind of Muslim? What is your sect? I don't, like, a hadith, a hadith, I don't uh, believe hadith. No problem, but is, what is your belief? What is your sect? Quran only? Uh, Quranist, uh, a progressive Quranist. I okay. Well, I will go with you. Yeah. But the Quran alone here is, is 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 making you now leave Islam because here we go. Forget about the Hadith. No, because, uh, see, I don't. Uh, would those who are kissing the black stone, you should uh, go. No, no, no. Forget about the stone. Forget about the stone now. The Quran only. Let's go, let, let us go. I, I will go with you. I will go with you. You are Quran yeah, only. The, Quran the verse in the front of us. The verse on, of, on the front of us. This is Quran only. Says there is no messenger came before Muhammad to this area. Well, so there is a con total contradiction for the story that Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba, and Abraham is the one, and Ishmael who was there too. So uh, there is there is a there is a big mistake there. There is a big mistake. If Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba, and Ishmael was there with Abraham, and both of them they were raising the foundation. The Quran said that clearly, stating clearly that we, both of them they were rising the foundation of the Kaaba. Now, let us say Abraham was there and Ishmael was there. And then the children of Ishmael, they are the one who live in that area. And Muhammad later became from Ishmael as the Muslim claim, which is a big fat lie. However, as long as Ishmael is the father of those Arab, and one of them is Muhammad, and he was a messenger, and he is one of them because he's their father. You know, we cannot say he's a stranger, correct? Is your yeah. father is a stranger? No, he's not. So he is their father, and they are people belong to him. his children. Not only they belong to him, they are his children, literally, supposedly, according to Muslims. So how Muhammad is the first messenger to those people? If those people, their grandfather himself is a messenger, and the grandfather of their uh, and the father of their grandfather is a messenger. Okay, I don't know about. I don't have all the answers. No, no. you see, my friend, you no. are you are a smart person. You are educated, and you are adult. And I'm speaking to you no, with all the respect, uh, but I yeah, want you. But, uh, you I see, don't have this answer. My friend, my friend, no, 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 no. You cannot say, my friend, my friend, my friend. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We need honesty here. When you say to me, I don't have answer. Are you agreeing that this is a contradiction? 
or you are just trying to uh, to avoid the contradiction by saying like, let us forget it i have no answer so either we are here to speak with, with with dignity and honor and be honest and say okay this is a clear contradiction or you are saying to me i'm not going to answer it because it's obviously embarrassing um uh, we don't know uh, because muslims are won't uh, like they will have some interpretation to reconcile you see a second ago you told me you are a quran only so how you got quran only and now you say interpretation do you go quran only or interpretation only um uh, see, i see i i like uh, i have not uh, i just followed some pages from the quran alone followers in online so i have to check uh, this uh, verse with my friend, you can check as much as you want, but you want to check what? You are a Quran only. You cannot check anything except the Quran. So you are Mr. Quran yeah. only. Interpretation does not count for you because you are just Quran only. The interpretation is the opinion of the man. The same as the Hadith. You know, you can say the Hadith is written by the man. That's what you said, right? Quran is only from oh, Allah. Hadith. Okay. Hadith were lies attributed to the Prophet. Yeah. Okay, but, 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 inter not but interpretation, all the interpretation of the Quran is based on the Hadith, not only in the Quran. You will not find a single interpretation for the Quran or not using Hadith. And you have to admit with that. So, if you accept the interpretation for the Quran, which is using the Hadith, you contradict yourself. Okay, yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, Christian. Yeah. yeah. So, thanks what? Yeah, I got it. Uh, this uh, about this, uh, so, I don't know about. So you agree uh, it's contradiction. Uh, so you agree it's contradiction, right? Well, Muhammad cannot be a prophet. This, uh, this is maybe. A, uh, I I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? Uh, no, no, no. You know, my friend. You are just you are just trying. I mean, okay, you are a Muslim. You grow all your life worshiping this God, praying to Him five times a day, whatever, and now. You see in two seconds that this is always a big fat lie and you are you are shocked and you are saying I do not know what to say. That's all. But I know what you want me to say. You need to say that this is absolutely a fraud. This is cannot be from God. You rejected the hadith because the hadith full of, 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 of stupid things, right? Well, this is not the difference. This is this is stupid thing. If there is no messenger came before me to hear, and yet we find that the one who built the Kaaba himself is Abraham. And he's a child, his name is Ishmael. And then the Muslim, they say to us that Muhammad is from Ishmael. And then you say you are the first one came in here. This is a crazy. So who is Ishmael? Who is Abraham? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have to check that. Uh, I, I, my, my friend, I'm checking with you. I'm sorry. I'm checking with you right now. What, what, what do you mean you need to check? Let us check. No problem. I'm here with you. I will stay with you in here until, until tomorrow. No, because I uh, see, maybe I see, I not read every work, meaning I have read few important, but this verse I have, I don't my, uh, know. My friend, there may my, be my, a my, little bit of contradiction, uh, maybe I don't know. What do you mean, maybe uh, it's so I clear? Should... You see, you see, you're an adult, mature, you keep saying maybe there's nothing, maybe either it is or not. So the verse is so clear, so clear. It says, you know, Abraham was there, Ishmael was there. And Ishmael was giving books, and Abraham was giving books. Books to who? To their people. Who was the people of Abraham? His children. And who was with him there? Only Ishmael. There's not even a single person with him beside Ishmael. Okay, so maybe it was uh, not he that God did not send any prophet to those people who were alive there. My friend, if it is uh, for people who they are alive, that, that would be very funny. Because look, if you go to the different verse in the Quran, here, and this is supposedly what, what translation you like to read usually i i follow the this the quran monotheist group huh. translation okay i don't follow the ibn kasir and all those no no i mean what it. what translation you like to okay let us say here in the front of us and example it's Sahih international so sometimes yeah okay. for some verses in the chapter in chapter 28 verse number 46 all right it says that Moses was sent, all right, yeah, as a warner to those people, and no warner had come before you. Is that true? That no warner come before Moses to the Jews? Uh, no warner come before uh, to the Jews. To the Jews who that were, uh, and uh, normally uh, to the followers of Muhammad, no warner. So it might, it might be referring to people who are alive at that time. What do you mean? No, no. It says before you, my friend, before you pass away, before you, they pass, they pass. This, this is what the verse is saying too. So, there was no Jews, there was no prophet came to the Jews before Moses. Um, uh, maybe, uh, 
maybe no profit came to people hmm warning uh, to a to people who no one had come before you okay you know, to that okay hold on okay uh, abraham let us let us i will go with you abraham he have a children do you know their their names yeah okay what uh, ishmael and isaac what ismail and isaac hmm Ismail and Isaac. This is the name you know. Okay, let us go to the Quran. In the Quran, it says the following. What? what? In the Quran, it says, We gave him two sons. One of them, his name is Isaac, and the other one, his name is Jacob. Correct? Give him two sons to whom? Abraham, right? To, to Abraham, yeah. yeah. Okay. Isaac and Jacob. Yeah. So, yeah. this is Abraham. We gave him children. And here the Quran is even counting the, the, the names, which is very funny because, uh, uh, you know, I never I never saw a stupid book like this where it's counting the name in a wrong order. So look at this. And we bestowed upon him, Isaac and Jacob, each of them we guided. And before him, we guided Noah. And among his progeny, David and Solomon. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? Did you notice the stupidity? See, each of them we guided and before uh, he gave. And, no, but uh, you know, how you how you put Noah between 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 Jacob and Isaac and then you start counting David and, 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 uh, and Solomon. Supposedly, he is counting the children of Abraham and what we gave him. And then before him, we give, we send Noah. And then he jump, he speak about David and Solomon. Obviously, this man is suffering from a flight of thought. Secondly, as long as... Uh, uh, Moses, the, the verse saying Moses is the first prophet to the Jews. So who are those names? All those names? Those names are who? Look how many names. All those names are what? See, Isaac and Jacob are the two children of uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, Abraham. Right? My, my friend, my friend, isn't it, isn't it the Quran keeps saying, calling the Jews the children of Israel? Correct? Yeah. Okay. Who is Israel? Israel is Jacob. Is Jacob the Quran never mentioned that right? Um, um, no, uh, yeah, I don't think it mentioned. but you are Quran only, so how you will learn about Jacob now? It is Israel. Um, uh, I have to check that. Uh, what can you know? I'm asking you if you are Quran only, how you will know who is this guy? His name is Israel. It, uh, some people speculate uh, we can have difference of opinion on over my the friend this is not the question the Quran, my right? friend my friend I'm uh, sorry this is not the question how you you gave me the answer already and it's correct no problem so this is uh, Israel here is Jacob okay Jacob became Israel how this name was given to how did Jacob became Israel what happened so here the Quran fail to give you any information you are a Quran only so Quran only is a stupid idea only with my respect to you secondly here we find that the Quran confirm that there's many prophets was sent to the Jews before Moses according to the Quran so how the Quran says and it says it clearly pass before you there's many messengers pass before you right okay and there but there's no messenger was sent to them what does that mean they have all those but, lists. Uh, there's G no, there's nobody, nobody exists. have, my friend, nobody yes. have, nobody G have long list of prophets as the Jews they have. So how he says, nobody came as a warner for them. In the so time yeah, of Moses, my, my friend. Before Abraham. No, my friend, yeah. just to show you how stupid your prophet is. Sorry to say the word, but isn't it you Muslim believe that Aaron himself was a prophet too? Yeah. Okay, so... Moses is a, is a is the brother of Aaron. Who is the older? Musa is the brother of Aaron. So Musa is older. Musa is older. Though. So the Muslim believe Aaron is the older <laughs> older. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter who is. No, older, but it's right? let us see what it's matter or not. So if both of them they are messengers to to the same people, how Moses is the first one to come as a messenger for them? In the same time, there is two of them. So maybe um, um, Abraham, Aaron came after Moses. Then what? What is the proof in the Quran that uh, Aaron came before? Uh, My Moses? friend, there is no one before them. And why Allah sending two messengers at the same time? When and and then that's it. I mean, what? How come in the same time two messengers? And then uh, Allah He sleep for six hundred years. He did not send us a messenger until Muhammad come. I mean, what happens? Sometimes he have too many messengers to 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 send. I mean, the Jews are a small nation. So how come in one day he decided to send two brothers to be a messengers and then after that he stayed for 600 years so look at the contradiction there's no messenger came before you and then we find that long list of messengers came before Moses 
<laughs> there's no messengers came to them before you Muhammad and we find and it says it clearly by the way that it's speaking about messengers who pass away because the Quran confirmed not a single nation read carefully Lou we have sent thee with the truth a barrier glad tidings and a warner and there is not a nation but a warner has passed among them do you see it is yeah, it? I know that okay. was. Okay, yeah. chapter 35, verse number 24. So the Quran confirmed yeah, yeah. So the Quran confirmed that there's not a single nation who did not send a warner before them. But in the other verse says, Allah he never sent a warner for them. <laughs> Which one is the correct? Read. And we had not sent any warner, nor sent to them before you any warner. But the other verse saying there's not a single nation who did not send the warner pass away before you. Not a single nation. Which means there's no exception. So where does it say that he has God has not sent a warner? Uh, show me the verse that can chapter, me the verse. Okay, chapter okay. chapter thirty-four, verse number forty-four says, and we had not given them scriptures which they could study, nor send them before you. O Muhammad, a messenger or a warner. Before you, you see, it says before you. Even in Arabic, it says clearly, min qablika. So it's not maybe translation, maybe misunderstood. It says, and wama arsalna ilayhim qablaka min nadir. We never sent before you a nadir, a messenger, a warner. So it's confirmed that before you, now no messenger came to them. But the Quran is saying that also, not a single so nation would not send them a messenger pass before. The people of uh, Arabia are like Mecca and all. My friend, what my time, your time? The Quran is confirming the story in the front of us. So l l let me, uh, what, I, what I see you are doing, you are trying to jump the madness there and uh, you know trying to find a solution maybe 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 but it's so clear that not a single nation not a single nation we did not send them a messenger as simple and those messengers they pass pass away not only they pass they pass they pass away so and then we find that muhammad is the first warner for this nation i mean look how many contradiction not one not two not a three <clears throat> maybe this verse is not translated properly my friend, choose any translation you wish. I, I do not need to translate. For me, I speak Arabic. Arabic my language. Most of the translations of the Quran, I don't trust them. Uh, okay, uh, okay, my friend, can you read for me the translation you trust? Go ahead. No, I don't know Arabic, so I don't know. No, no, my friend, uh, I see. I, 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 no problem, but what are, so how you, you said you are Quran only. So you read, what Quran you will read if you don't trust any translation? Uh, I often refer to this uh, monotheist group or Dr. Rashad Khalifa's edition and all these kind of... Uh, yeah. Rashad Khalifa, you like his translation? Yeah, yeah, I used to have his translation on my mobile, uh, hmm. but uh, he rejected few verses of the Quran as fabricated. Yes, so he's yeah. a liar, he's a fraud. So, well, he's a fraud, the same as Muhammad, not, not a fraud. But still, this is one to help you. You see, I'm trying to help you, my friend. Yeah, no, I don't disagree because he discovered the uh, miracle uh, number. It's a fraud. I destroyed this miracle in two seconds. This is a fraud. The number 19 does not exist in the Quran. This is a lie. All the numbers this guy he fabricated does not exist. Starting from chapter no, number. No, but uh, yeah. there are some uh, multiplications of 19. Uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 not an, Shabir no. Ali my, my friend, so Shabir Ali is an idiot. Yeah. Shabir, Ali, Shabir Ali is a donkey who does not know how to read Arabic. And yet he, he just uh, read article he adopted without trying it. Did he try it? No. And this is why Shabir so Ali, this is why Shabir Ali, my friend, Shabir Ali, listen, Shabir Ali is a, is a potato. I call him by name potato and he can he can hear me. This guy, the coward, they schedule a debate between me and him in ABN TV. And I challenge him to say it's not true. Then he went and he bought my book. And then after he wrote my, he, he got my book, he sent a message, an email to the ABN TV saying, I apologize from debating Christian Prince because I'm busy doing my PhD. And since then he is doing his PhD and he will never debate me all his life because he knew that he's a potato. So don't mention to me names of people who have a long beard, but their brain is a, is a brain of an ant. When somebody says something so to you, the miracle 19 is not true. According it's not to true. You, see, okay. Not the miracle, my, my friend, miracle, miracle 19, my friend, my friend, let me show you how stupid this miracle 19 is. Life on air. 
Miracle 19 is based uh, 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 start from chapter number one, correct? Where the Bismillah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rashad so, Khalifa. Apart from this, see, apart from Miracle 19, there is many, many other things like hot. Oh, All is a fabrication, my friend. We get them busted. Trust me. But anyway. It, it, just to show you how all the fabrication uh, uh, easy to to destroy the, you know he says that bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim is 19 numbers the fact is not because there's nothing in arabic it's called bism this the word here is bism and even the islamic scholar they agree that they lighten they took off the alif in recitation for easier reading and singing so it is bism and then he says that the, uh, uh, the the same verse repeated in the Quran 114 times. But just to show you the, the, the liar, if we search for Bism in the Quran, we will find that Bism come as a correct word in many other places. So how you count it 19 here and you don't count this letter again? As an example. No, the whole, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He mentioned some multiple of 19, right? No, none of those true. None of those true. Listen, you see here? Do you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Do you see the letter Aleph here? This is Bism. This is different from the one in verse number one, correct? Bism. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what happened? Why here it's Bism, there it's Bism. So look at this potato. Here he counted all those verses as 119, uh, 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 sorry, as 19 letters. But as you see here already, we have letter as, as added. So this is the correct number. And then when we go back to the chapter one, so here we have a letter already proven, Bism. It's not Bism. All Muslims and even the scholars of Islam agree that this is was taken and lightened by drawing and recitation for the purpose of recitation. So they took the Aleph, fabricating the Quran. Because if you take a letter from a book of God, this is a fabrication. Secondly, so let us let us highlight. This is letter number one, is taken from the verse. This is letter number one, Bism. Let us make it here. See, uh, one thing a uh, Christian prince hold on, hold I my friend, hold on. is let, that let, I, I, as a Quran follower, but I believe that Quran is a human idea. My friend, no, I you, don't you, believe you, it is, yeah. You believe the Quran is not from God? Uh, no, it is from human. It is inspired, but it is from human. <laughs> like, uh, uh, there are some Muslims who believe that it is human, although hmm. it has truth in it, but it is human. Okay, so, so the, <laughs> but that's mean the Quran is not the book of God. No, it is coming from a human being. Okay, so it, it has so, it, Okay, yeah. so thank you very much. Uh, you know, I'm not going to waste my time anymore with this uh, Bismillah because I can show you every Shadda here is two letters and that will make them 23 letters right away. You see the letter L, R, you know, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. This is letter in, uh, this in Arabic we call it Shadda. Shadda mean yeah. you extend the letter twice. So in the old language, it was two Ra, not one. So in order to shorten it, a guy who is not even an Arab, he came with the idea saying, okay, let us not to write the Ra twice. So we add Shadda in the top and that will make it uh, written once, but pronounced twice. So here you see how we get them busted so easy. So that the 19 became 23. Now, as long as you agree that the Quran is not God made, it is human made. Now, yeah. isn't it the Quran says that the Quran is the word of Allah? See, it has some, it may have some inspiration from God. No, 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 it's not about the, either you say the Quran is, is uh, uh, all of it inspiration because it says, uh, you know, we, in, uh, in, uh, we are the one who inspire you and we give you how I inspire him. The story is very well known. Allah, he sent an angel. Yeah. See, and by the way, the God, word inspire. Many, see, I, I, there are Muslims who believe that Quran is direct and final mm. words. He, God spoke this word, but I don't believe that God spoke something. I believe that this has truth in it. This has inspiration, uh, divine spiritual inspiration in it. But it is a human work only, human idea. And I agree with things. So do you, the Quran. do you agree that the Quran is full of uh, mistakes? Meaning, uh, no, uh, like uh, it, it has some truth in it. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to save your time and my time. Show me one truth in the Quran. Go ahead. Okay, so it says God is one, right? So that God is, is true, one, right? No, we're, no, we're, okay, hold on. Guys, it says God is one. What does that mean? One what? See, uh, 
Uh, yeah, it shows God is one. Where, where, so where, where it shows that? Here we go. You see, when the Quran who, says, who do Allah ahad? No, who Allah. Allah uh, here we go. This is this is not God is one. This is one. This is this is a this is a phrase from the Old Testament. Oh, oh, Israel, your God is echad. Your God is one. Echad. Echad is not one as uh, as number. Echad as unity. As an example, the Bible used the word echad, that the man, he leave his parents and he will be attached to his wife when they get married and they will be echad. So echad in the Hebrew language have nothing to do with one because it's two male and female, they became one. So how that one, what one? This is about became united. So when the Quran still the, the verse from the Jews says that say Allahu ahad, you see ahad, ahad is not one. Ahad is one of so the full Muhammad, he took the word Ahad, he put it from the Jews, so Ikhad. You, you believe in Ikhad, you believe in many gods. Eh, no, we don't believe in many God. No, we, we don't believe. I'm just explaining to you what Ikhad mean. Ikhad is not here about God. Ikhad is about a man and the women, they get married, they became one. So there are two person. So I didn't say the, Ikhad, I said uh, Ahad. No, I'm saying, no, Ahad is Ikhad, the same word, Muhammad, because you see, if you take it in Arabic, not in the Hebrew, and you say Ahad, it have a meaning that one off. If we, if we open right now, I will do it in front of your eyes. Uh, okay, so, okay, so for, another for us, for us, my one. friend, for us, for, for us, we believe that God, God is one, but God is not one person. You see, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So for you to say Allah is Ahad is a problem, because this is mean that He is not, uh, uh, He is not one person. So why you are using the word Ikhad? So here you see that when Muhammad he spoke about his God, uh, he, okay, he, I'll use some other words. Let us use because I don't know about the technicality of Ikhad. Okay, see there are Quran says that we put uh, us in our expanding universe. Uh, this is from so the Bible. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible. My friend, my friend, this is in the Old Testament expanding the universe, and the Quran never said that. The Quran says, Mu'sirun, no, Mu'sirun. Mu'sirun is about we will build more, have nothing to do with expanding the universe. They are lying to you. If you go and read that, what you know, Mu'sirun, this is not expands, expanding the universe. It's mean we are going to give more and we will do more because supposedly Allah, when He was, he, this is about how He created. If you remember that Allah He created in stages, correct? Yeah. Okay, which one Allah created first, the sky or the earth? Uh, first uh, sky. Right? Okay. Well, if, if first is a sky, then how we say this? Look at this. Try not to laugh with me now, you know. Chapter 2, verse number 29. It says, It is He who created for you all that on earth, and then He went to the heaven and He made them seven heaven. So which one is finished first? Creates that out here, all then, and everything created. Hmm. Where is written? Uh, he who is the creator, chapter two, chapter two, chapter two, verse number 29. Who was number 29? Then he rose, my, 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 my friend. I'm sorry, seven heaven. yeah. I went, so maybe he made the seven heaven, the first heaven was made before. No, 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 this is, this is not the question now. You see, which one Allah he finished first? Which oh, one? Uh, so heaven. No, read it. It says he who finished everything in earth and then he went to the heaven. I mean, my friend, it says it is he who created for you all that on earth. And then he went to heaven and he made them seven heaven. So which one finished first? Yeah. Okay, see, uh, maybe I can disagree with this verse then. You know? Oh, you can disagree. So it's up to you to agree and disagree with any verse in the Quran. So now Allah here, you need a spank. Let us spank Allah. So well, what do you mean disagree? You should leave Islam, my friend. What's wrong? You see, either you accept that this is cannot be God speaking and this book is full of a fraud or you say, okay, this is God speaking. I accept what he's saying. So you disagree with it. It's mean you disagree that Allah is God. So why you don't say right now, and I advise you immediately to denounce the cult of Islam. Obviously, it's a fraud. And you agree with me already. You said, I agree. I agree. This is garbage. I agree. You said that. See, I, I, I don't think like uh, we can. I, I believe if there is something wrong, then I can disagree with it. That in the Quran. No, no problem, my so. friend. My friend, I'm sorry. I am not against you to agree or disagree. That's wonderful. Actually, I, I respect your honesty. Because many Muslims, they, they do all kind of tricks in the books of lying in order not to say, yes, this is absolutely wrong. 
you are honest at least and you say it's wrong so now but now the book is not a valid book no more so because we can uh, accept whatever is uh, we can agree and we can disagree no, we something. cannot do that my friend my friend okay as long we agreed now that this book of it let us say there's a book sent by god huh? and then somebody played with it no, and, i said to you i don't believe god spoke to all right human. okay so so this is okay i will go i will go with you so i will go with you so now we are saying that muhammad is the one who is saying that right yeah, yeah. Okay, and you said you disagree with Muhammad. Obviously, he's, he's lying. So Muhammad is a liar. So how do you accept Muhammad the liar to be your no, prophet? He, he can be. Oh, he's a human being. He can make human errors. No, right? no, 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 no. You see, this is not error because when you say, when you say that this is Allah who told you this, you're a liar. No, I never said that Allah spoke Arabic in Arabic to someone. No, 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 I no, no. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. Ah, no, 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 Muhammad. Muhammad is the one who's talking, saying, Allah, he taught him he, this. I think he made him, must have made a mistake. Okay. My, my friend, my friend. No okay. Uh, he, he, he made, okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. If, if I say to you, right now I'm speaking to you, and I say, God told me this to you, and then you find that it is, it's not true. Can you consider that a mistake or I'm lying? Because I said to you, God said to me that. So obviously, this is not a mistake. A mistake is, uh, I, I know, I say, Muhammad, I say something. Muhammad Listen. never, where did Muhammad say in the way, you know, in the Quran that, uh, you know, it did God told him, I believe this is uh, coming from Muhammad, but it has truth in it. And My friend, I, the Quran, yeah, it, the Quran never said to Muhammad, this is from God. The Quran doesn't say that. This is from God. The Quran. No. Where does Quran say, I mean, the Quran says that it clearly, uh, Quran, like, yeah, there is tons, there, the no, the there is, there the is, no, there is, okay, 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 let us see if, yeah, the, if let us see if the Quran, yeah. let us see if the, if the Quran is saying that this is from Allah, here we go, chapter 26, verse number 193, it says the one who sent it down is the trustworthy, the Muslim translate falsely, by the way, the word Ruh, as Jibreel, in Arabic it says Ruh, Ruh Allah, the spirit of Allah, so where is the Quran is coming from? Chapter 20, 26, verse 129 says, And it's truly, this Quran is a revelation from the Lord of the mankind and the genie. Does it say that? Um, it's either a revelation, it is a revelation from the Lord. It is trustworthy. It means a uh, uh, spiritual, uh, like uh, not uh, words of God. It my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What spiritual? Come on, don't make me dizzy, my friend. It says clearly, this Quran is a revelation from Allah, the Lord of the two world, the kind, of the genie and the, and the human, which is very funny. So it says it clearly with clear word. Why you are? Why you are trying to? Avoid what it says. It says that in front of you, and you are the one who said to me, "Your Quran only." Okay, the Quran only saying to you that this I is a revelation from Allah. Version of understanding of the Quran. Huh? So maybe like this true. This the, this Quran is a revelation from the Lord of the mankind. Means that it is a spiritual experience of the Quran. My friend, how it See, is? A, okay, okay, but but. I, but, uh, I'm sorry. See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said, okay. Seen. Hold on. Hold on. I don't believe in Adam and Eve, although it is clearly there in the Quran. But I don't believe in existence of Adam. Hmm. I believe in evolution. Okay. So I don't think so, that story. So the story. Okay. okay. So the story of Adam. Okay. Let us go with you. The story of Adam and the Quran is a lie. Then. Yeah. They take it literally. I by Adam means not one person. It can mean many people were Adam. Hmm. So you, simply, so you simply, you are not a Muslim, my friend. Why well, you call yourself a Muslim? You left Islam already. Or oh, oh, what I say, that you are denying here and okay. there. I mean, okay. I mean, look, look, what, look okay. what you did. Look what you did. You are a person who have a, a brush of paint in his hand. And he go and he flip the Quran pages. And wherever you go, you put X sign with the brush you have. Uh, X, this one is X. This one is garbage. This one is garbage. Uh, this one is garbage. I'm, I'm going to take it. Uh, this one is garbage too. I'm not going to take it. That's what you are doing. So what you are saying to us that I have a brush in my hand and I am going to X any things I don't like. Hey, this one is garbage. This one is garbage too. Uh, this one here is, is uh, shish kebab. This one is hummus. Huh? This one is uh, a potato. Uh, this one is uh, watermelon. 
So what is left of the Quran? Why you are saying you are Quran only, but you are not Quran at all? I mean, you see, you call me and you said you are Quran only. Then after having a conversation with like an hour with you, we noticed that you end saying, I, I, I don't agree with the literal. I believe Quran has not to be taken literally. Like the story of Adam, I don't take it literally. My friend, my friend, who, now, who, who cares about to, taking literally or not? Here, like as an example, this is not a story. The Quran says Allah, he is the one who sent the Quran. Is that, it, 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 is, is, it means, see, it means that it is a, a spiritual experience. What spiritual? Not, hold on. This, uh, the Quran is word. It's not something spiritual. It's a word, and it's even have to be sang and song as a song. And you 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 have to make it in a certain way. So this is nothing spiritual. This is you have even to recite it in a certain way. You have to repeat it like a parrot without even understanding. So there's nothing spiritual about it. What's spiritual? Like okay, I want to ask you. No, but what is a spiritual? What is what is, what is a spiritual? What what is a, my friend? I'm sorry. What is a spiritual when Allah he described for me what is inside the women vagina? See, for example, uh, the you know the story of Hudhud in the Quran. Hudhud no, and Suleiman, we will, we will go there. We will go there. But first, what is a spiritual about a God saying to me what is inside the women vagina, promising me women who have nice vagina in the heaven to sleep with? No. What is a spiritual about it? What is, you are saying in, in Islam there's a spirituality when since when? Since when? Or you know, Quran never mentions about that virgin. That was another fabrication in the hadith. No, my friend, it says there in front of you. This is chapter fifty-five, verse fifty-six. Read it. Lam yat mithahunna insun qabla qabla Nobody put his penis inside their private part before them and did not open the skin of virginity. And what is this inside is the brackets. vagina? This is written in brackets. No, 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 hold on. This is in Arabic. It says, Lam yat mutha'un. Thomas, my friend, when a woman, she bleed. And this is about what? Talking about nobody have intercourse with them. Who? Genie and a human. So he is saying to you, they did not bleed from intercourse. So when he here, here in the, in the, in the translation, he put it between two brackets because he is saying to you, what is the Arabic word? And this Arabic word mean, read carefully, has opened their humans with sexual intercourse. He is putting for you the Arabic word and what is equal to it. Do you see it? Yes, sir. I don't uh, take this verse literally. Yeah. What literally? I, I mean, even this one doesn't have it. Guy, some listen, listen, I'm sorry. You are saying this one, you cannot take it literally. Okay, tell me, give me the spirituality about it now. Um, you know, I am now, I am uh, Gandhi uh, sitting in my, in the, in the floor and uh, I am meditating, listen to your spirituality about the women vagina. Give us your wisdom. What is, what is the spiritual about it? See, this verse, I will, how I would understand the, it means that pe people who did not have, uh, 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 like intercourse in this world for did not have intimacy in this world mm -hmm. they will be married and they will be able to have intimacy in the next world no yeah. my friend no my friend first of all it says that he promised you you and your wives so those wives there's wives who they are on earth with you and they have sex and with them already even if, yeah mm -hmm. even if someone has sex in heaven mm -hmm. I, it is possible, right? Because uh, if there is sex in this world, okay. God can create sex in next world also, right? Mm. He created in this world also, right? So okay. if you say that he, he is a shameless God, then you have to say that he is shameless even because he created it in this world also, mm. right? And this God, who, who is a God of a spirituality, he need to describe for me the women vagina. Where does vagina? There is no I don't see Well, the, the, the Quran is full of it. Okay, what the word farja I mean? Farj. Isn't it the Quran says that the one who preserves the word word for vagina? No, it says in the Quran, hey, Faraj, here we go. There's ton of time. Even he mentioned it about Mary herself. You know? So the word Faraj is all over the Quran. Faraj is the word for vagina. Yeah, for a private Wait, part. Can you show me one place? Where is it? Okay. Walladina hum him hafidun. And this is if it's for the male, it's his penis. If it's for the female, it's his vagina. The Quran, it is there in the chapter Quran. chapter twenty four, as an example, chapter twenty four, verse number thirty one. It says, hmm? yeah. and it's your Muslim translation, huh? and lower their gaze, huh? and then protect their private parts. Okay, what is the translation they are translating the word the private part? There's a word in Arabic equal to it, right? Yeah, 
What is that? Furuj. You see, this is your Muslim translation saying, and the one who protect their private part. How? What kind of God? He say the one. Uh, I mean, you speak to women, you say the one who protect their vagina. Nice to meet you. What about we say chastity? What about we say dignity? What we say uh, honor? What we say they keep uh, 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 themselves pure? No, we say the word private parts. Yeah, pri private part. See, uh, the uh, uh, lower the gaze and protect your, it, it, it means modesty, protect your modesty. Okay, what modesty? What, so why he don't use the word modesty, my friend? You see, you're trying to make it look nicer. So you come to me with the, I just, I am the one who said, why Allah don't say modesty? Why Allah don't say uh, dignity? Why I don't say pure? Why Allah don't say uh, chastity? See, I, I told you that I don't take Quran literally. My friend, we have to don't take my my video. friend. Don't take the Quran literally. I mean, why why you are running away from what is written from the, in the Quran? You see, the, the your problem. I'm I'm just being honest with you. Your your problem is you see something ugly in the screen, and then you, the only way to escape it, you say I don't take it literally. But you cannot change the fact that the Quran using the word vagina there. Yes, but it means modesty. Okay, he used my uh, vagina, but it means modesty. Can't he use the word modesty? And why Allah, just, just to show you the stupidity here, why Allah is ordering the women to protect their private part, yet he is allowing them to be divorced and use and abuse. So the man, he can have four of them. Why the man, he need to have four? And why the man, look, you know, just to show you the, the madness of this garbage. I want your wisdom here, you know. You are a person of wisdom and I can't tell. So, if we if we go and ask a Muslim, what do you think about orphan? What do you think about orphan? Orphan. Yeah. What we do? With, I, what we should we do? We have with, to be kind towards okay, them. Okay. How right? we can do to the orphan? How we can be kind by having sex with them? No. Where does the Quran say that? Uh, no, I'm asking you. I'm, I'm, with I'm them asking kind. you. Okay. I'm asking you. Is it is that how you be kind to the orphan? You have sex with them, or you give them shelter? You feed them? Hmm? Yeah, but where does the Quran say that we have to have sex with them? Chapter 4, verse number 3. Chapter 4, verse number? 3. It also then marry those who were pleased to 3 or 4. If you are not deep with understanding with orphan women. Hmm. Okay. What what does have to do with marriage? What does have to do with marriage? First of all, in Arabic, see, it, in Arabic see, it does not it say... It is about orphan women. Orphan women, have you ever heard of a woman? She's an orphan. Okay, I'm an orphan, man, my friend. You know, so you are 80 years old. I am 97 years old now, maybe 90, 100. I know I forgot. I stopped counting a long time ago since I was 17. So can I call myself as an adult mature an orphan? Orphan is a statement for kids. So be nice to the orphan, give them their money. And if you fear you cannot be just with them, then marry. Then Mary, Mary, the word Mary, by the way, doesn't exist there. It says Inkahu, which means go F. F from the women of your choice. Okay. What the orphan have to do with the sentence after it? You tell me. If you cannot be justly with the orphan, okay, go and F women of your choice. What does this have to do with this? See, it says marry women of your choice. No problem. You see, but the orphan are not women and what the orphan have to do go and if women of your choice what the connection you tell me so, see uh, if they marry the women's though mm. their orphan children's will be helped right what no he's, 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 listen listen see, he's talking about this is about having women choosing women to sleep with all right yes but see suppose a woman's husband died in war and she had two kids, orphan kids, two orphan girls. So by marrying that woman, you are supporting the orphan girl and her husband. Ah, right? but it doesn't say what you are saying, my friend. It says, if you are not able to deal justly with the orphan girls, then mar marry women of your choice. You see, you, know, you are the one who says to me, you don't like the between bracket, right? Look at the liar. He says, other, between two brackets, other women of your choice. So look what he's saying. He's saying he considering the orphan as women by adding the word other otherwise there's no connection you see why Allah don't say if you like to marry women who have orphans and you cannot deal or with uh, justly with the orphan then marry a woman she don't have orphan you can say that clearly but he didn't say that secondly let me let me ask you do do the Quran allow you to have sex with the children's 
No. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. Uh, okay. You, have you ever heard of a chapter it's called the? the you don't need Quran for that. You just need to use your brain for that, right? That your own moral sense. Well, I don't. I don't know. I sense. I never saw a Muslim. He uses a brain. Sorry to say that, including you. Here we go. The proof in front of me. Chapter sixty-five, verse number four. It says, speaking about divorced children who they never have their period yet. And this is divorcing them, not marrying them. So you are telling me we don't marry children, but we divorce them? Um, chapter 65. See, that has been explained. It has been those people that have not got uh, periods because of some diseases. Ah, okay, my friend. Until you solve your disease, I wish you good luck. Take care, my friend. Thank you for calling me. Because obviously you are the one who have a disease and you are trying to... Uh, to 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 avoid the truth, and you don't want to say that this is um, garbage. Thank you for calling. See, uh, see what the 